So this is the kind of you got the Also it's a lovely view of the sugarloaf from here. Uh -huh. And if you turn to your left, we have this wonderful pair of trees. Look at these. And again, look at the girth of the things. We're looking at maybe a 60, 80 foot spread on this. Look at the size of these. Yeah. That's a big girl. But look at that over there. Ooh wee That's a big girl. Girth. And of course the traditional. This is why you can't date yew trees. Not only do they go hollow, yeah. but you see how this is growing like this? Yeah. This will all be individual branches. That have grown into the trunk. Oh. And it'll also do that on the inside. Good Lord. So you can't even tell yeah. from the wood on the inside. You can't date any part of it. Okay. Like with any. Yeah. But that. Yeah. That, that is beautiful. Yeah. Let's get a. I can see why you love them. Yes. Let's see if we can get a, an approximate girth. On this one, we'll have to go a little bit higher up. Right. Put that. So do you, yeah, do you use this knobbly bit or do you... No, no, you want the first bit of clear trunk. Right. Oh, I see the sun's coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my God, we might get some yeah, nutrition. Yeah, yeah. Can you sort of go around? Yeah, yeah. Which that, give them that sort of gap there. Yeah. Just kind of hold that against the yep. tree there, and I'll come around and meet you. Just as high as it reach. Oh! <laughs> run out of tape! Get there, I'll run out. What's that? Six, six feet thick, three feet uh, radius. Right. So six feet diameter, three foot radius. Okay, I'll do some maths on that when we get back. Okay. Just grab the cameras and go to the next show. Yes. They've got incredible spread on them. I mean, new trees will often spread out, but just to have the... the yeah. Canopies this low to the ground and this spread out, I think, is in indicative of enormous great age as well. Okay, oh my Jesus! Oh, mine is best, isn't it? Oh my God! Yes. Actually, seems a sin to be bringing cameras into this guy. Oh my word! Yeah, he is a wonderful. Oh, my word. Oh, yeah, look, just grab a, a quick shot of me for us, just to, as a comparison. Hang on. Because you really know it. Just point it. How, how it's, do already, I... it's already going. Yeah, so. There's a kind of... Okay, yeah. Yeah, you pointing at me? Yeah, 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 you got go. you. Thank you. Yeah, well... Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that was that's the narrow side as well. Woohoo! 
Oh, Jesus, wet. I don't know how much of this is going to come out on camera, but... My, um, my Zoe loves to come in here and decorate it. Oh, wow. Oh, what a special place. Oh, man. Oh, Docky's going to go insane for this. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, my word. I'm going to forget to look in the viewfinder. <laughs> I'll get home and there'll be no, no footage of the actual trees. I mean, too busy looking and not filming. Yeah, and look, you see this uh, sort of regrowth? Yeah, yeah. Up the yeah. side here, now yeah. all of those poles will grow into each other and then become a branch. Wow. It's the only tree that really does it. Gosh. So that's what all these are, all these striations. Oh, right. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Christ. So this here will yeah. be a branch. That will be a branch, that will be a branch, yeah. and then they and then knit. knit together. Yeah. That's so, I had no idea that's what was happening. And like I say, you'll get places like here, yeah. where, these oh, two, yeah. where these two branches, they're not grown together, but you'll get on that other tree, do you yeah. remember the yeah, fallen yeah. branch? Yeah. Yeah. And it had just grown into the one yeah. that it had fallen on. Yeah. I bet we can find some of those here. Here we go, there's another one there. Oh, yes. And it's like rejoining, it's yeah. like bifurcated up here yeah coming down to here and it's like starting to yeah knit back together and again it can't look it's like a structural framework for itself the branches resting on the floor yeah are holding the ones above it yeah oh wow oh i talk about save the best till last love <laughs> if honestly if this isn't a foot one of the four thousand year old ewes in this country and possibly one of the finest examples I'm going to have to get onto that yew tree guy. He will want to get out of here. He will want to get out of here. I mean, admittedly, most of the really ancient yews, the girth is usually a bit bigger. Right. But then the tree looks in a lot worse condition. Okay. And I think the more sheltered they are, yeah. the least damage they receive, and so the less regeneration. So the fact that this is a coalesced trunk. Yeah doesn't necessarily impart that much on on what sort of age it must be, but boy, that's got some age in it. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, look at this down there. Look, look at this. You were look at this. Unenthusiastic about my oh, you must be joking. No, I, no, I was do, absolutely doing delayed gratification with this one. Yeah. yeah. I'd seen the photos, yeah, but yeah. I kind of guessed, yeah. but. But that's what I mean about <sighs> Well, it's, I mean, this thing, well. but it, this, this, it, you know what I mean, regardless, yeah. this dates this site to at least a 2,000 year old sacred site, right. minimum. Baby, but we'll get there. There's little sister. <laughs> little. Not little by most news standards. But when you're standing next to Big Bertha like that, this one here is just a little bit of spring chicken. A whipper snapper. I mean, probably maybe six, eight hundred years old, that one. And honestly, who could say on this one? I mean, I would put forward a date of at least 2,000 years on that, just from my experience of the sort of known datings, or the established datings of some ewes. And in all my years of studying ewes, I've rarely seen a finer, ex well, I've never seen a finer example. Yeah, don't dump under trees. Quite right. Yeah. What is it with humanity? that it would need to be told not to dump the rubbish under a, a many thousand year old tree. <laughs> Just the, the utter disrespect, yeah. yeah. It's only 60 feet easily at the lower branches and also <laughs> enthralled with these two. 
that I've already done this once and then realised that I hadn't pressed record and once again another one completely hollowed out in the centre completely making any core dating utterly impossible and stimulating the uh, broad arguments over the dating of these trees but I would suggest that that one is probably significantly older than a thousand years this one here, similar again this one has uh, a really quite nicely intact uh, main trunk there, looks like it's regrown itself quite well and again just the the monumental scale of these is really hard to impart onto a camera as it is impossible to really capture the majesty of some of these enormous trees in any meaningful sense on camera I mean I'm sure these images are pretty eye watering but even so, I mean, look at this look at this place I think if I was a big old yew tree like that girl I might be happy in this place, look at her, bigger than the church that she's attached to and probably four times the age I'm guessing just look at the scale of this thing and utterly, you know, I mean the branches resting on the ground all around the base here are effectively acting like uh, acros <laughs> propping up the branches above them Considering what a dry year we've had this year as well, looking in rude health as well, which is always very encouraging when you see these ancient trees when they're not absolutely knackered and on their last legs. Let's see if we can't get you a, a long shot. This is Lambetta Church. <laughs> 